Okay, so this is what the Stereo GUI user interface looks like, and it's extremely helpful for uh, just cropping. So what you're going to do is you need to find your dune in both images. I'm going to do this dune here, and I can see it's there and there pretty easily. So what you do to select your dune is you hold control and click and drag and you create a square around the dune. Now I found in my research that you pretty much want to double the area around the dune for quality cropping so that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to do the same on this side. Control. Oh no, not quite big enough. Let's try. That looks pretty good to me. And then you're going to go to run. And you can run stereo or you can run parallel stereo. Uh, if you're on the ISU computer, uh, you're just going to run stereo. Parallel stereo allows you to run on multiple uh, computers at once or use multiple processors at once. But we're just going to run stereo. And then it's just going. To run your DEM. Um, and usually it's pretty fast actually. The longest part, if you're going to be cropping the DEMs, the longest part is getting the cube files. If you're not going to crop, the longest part is definitely creating the DEMs. So I'm just gonna let this run and I'll let and I'll let you know um, when it's done. I just wanted to add here that one of the downfalls of using um, the cropping using the stereo GUI is you can't close it while it's running, I don't think. So this has to this just stays open while it's running. Um, I don't know if I can can I disconnect? Ah, it still let me disconnect though, so you should be okay to disconnect and reconnect. Let's see if I can reconnect to that. Yep, still running. Okay, cool. So I'm going to disconnect. It'll probably, whenever it finishes, give you an error um, because this is still open, but whatever, it's fine. So when it finishes, um, the words triangulation finished will come up on the screen, but I mine froze so I closed it. But the output of that should be a TIFF file with the ending PC. So whatever you named your uh, file dash PC dot TIFF. So now we again I need to make sure I'm in the right um, directory. So this is the directory I've been working in, but now I want to be in the same directory as my .tiff file. So again, cd result. So now I'm in the correct directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a point to dem uh, command. And what this does is it takes the tiff file, which right now is just a point cloud, and it's going to turn it into the dem. So point to dem example. Oh, and something else that's kind of important if you're not used to a Linux system or Unix system, this capitalization matters. So you could just run point to dem with the tiff, it'll output your DEM, uh, but what you're really but you're gonna want to put two more commands on here. The first one is called the error image. This is just going to make sure you also get a TIFF file that you can use to calculate error, or intersection error, not volume error. And then also, uh, dm fill hole len. So basically, this is a, a hole filling feature, and I found that this makes all of, improves my DM significantly so I'm gonna put that on there but then you also have to put the size of the holes you want to fill I put 5,000 
so I'll run that. And I ran into an error. What happened? Ugh, and this is in screen. Let me see. I must have spelt this wrong. Okay, let's see. I'm going to reference my paper because it's been a while since I've done this. DM whole fill in. Is that what I said? DM whole fill, not fill whole. Okay. Whole fill len. Try again. Cool. Now it's working. And this is generally pretty quick. But I will let you know when it's done. Yeah, so that was actually really fast. That only took about a minute. Um, so now there should be two new files in here. You might have to refresh this folder to see it. Alright, there we go. Example DEM and the intersection error is right there. You're gonna we're gonna use that for our volume stuff. So uh the example DEM, what we're gonna do is there is only one program I know of that will open these .tiff files. You can I'm gonna double click on it so we can look at it. I'm sorry for any boring. Okay, there it is. Erdes ER Viewer. It is the only viewer that will actually show these DMs. So definitely make sure you get your hands on that. So this opened this on my la on my laptop, not on um, not on the school server. So. Yeah, so that's the DEM. You can see it kind of filled in a hole here. Um, basically what this is is the, the lighter colors represent height, higher sections of the dune. And the darker color represents lower sections of the dune. So um, it's not an image of the dune. It is a, a representation of height. So a digital elevation map. What? Yeah, so you can see the dune there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually... File, save this as a JPEG. As a JPEG. Um, I'm just going to call it example. And this will save it on my on my laptop. The, so when you save this as a JPEG, it's actually really important to um, make sure it keeps the same dimensions as the original DEM. So, but the ER viewer is really good at just automatically doing that. So I can pretty much trust that this is going to be correct. All right, cool. JPEG saved. Close out of there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to So we're we're done making our DEM. Uh I'm going to keep going and show you how to get to the volume or get through yeah, the volume and stuff, but that you have your digital elevation model now, so I'm just going to stop here and then continue on in the next video.